Peace be to you. This is Physician Assistant Omar Abdul Malik, otherwise known as Dr. O, the PA Pro. Uh, some of you all may recognize me from my other channel, iFlow, LLC. I'm here with an extraordinary uh, pioneer in the physician assistant field. So I'm going to um, ask him to, to introduce himself, and we're going to learn a lot about um, the awesome uh, PA profession, and um, it may um, help inspire some of you all uh, who want to be physician assistants. So, Salaam Alaikum, if you introduce yourself. Salaam Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Bashir Ahmad. I'm a physician assistant, PA, as uh, the initial says. Uh, however, we're a little bit more than just a PA, as it says. Uh, I'm, I'm a Washingtonian. I was born here in Washington, D.C. And uh, I went to school. I went to uh, elementary, uh, junior high, and high school. When high school, I went to McKinley Technical High School. Hey, you know, <laughs> that. The thing is that um, I've been a PA since uh, 1974. I graduated from the PA program in 1974 from Ohio University Medical School mm -hmm. in the first class. Um, now, I was introduced really Actually, I was in the Navy. When I graduated out of high school, I went into the Navy, the Medical Corps, and I spent 17 years in the Medical Corps. Um, and after that, um, I started going into uh, my medical field. Um, while I was in uh, Navy, the Navy, the Medical Corps, uh, I learned a whole lot, and this is the thing that inspired me to pursue my career in medicine. Uh, I don't know, a lot of you don't know, but uh, it was very difficult for us as African Americans to even get in the field of any kind of medical uh, mm -hmm. curriculum or medical careers. But the Navy gave me the impetus and, and the knowledge showing that I can do something. Um, so that's the, the beginning. And I got out of the Navy. Oh, what time did I get out of the Navy? Oh, it was a long time ago, yeah. <laughs> but it was way before. I got 1967, I believe. Mm, okay. Okay. However, now, since I've been a PA, uh, uh, let me tell you more about the profession. The profession is a very good profession. Uh, it's not just assisting, as the words say, assistant. Uh, you actually do medical care. Uh, and what happens is that you, under the uh, guidance and also the... Uh, leadership of a partner physician. You are a team. You're not just uh, working for him. You're working together in order to deal with health care. And the thing is that um, once uh, once you establish that team kind of attitude, you can deal with the patient much better and have better outcomes. Uh, now, uh, during my career, I've, I've done so many things as a PA. Uh, at first, you, when you graduate from uh, the, the curriculum, which is really actually a medical school curriculum, mm -hmm. it's not uh, something you go to a tech school for. Now, that, can I ask you, um, when you went to Howard, mm -hmm. was the PA program actually in the medical school? Yeah, it was sponsored mm -hmm. mostly with the medical school. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, what happened is that uh, they established a connection uh, because they wanted to start a school of allied health, a school of allied health. Mm -hmm but they didn't have one uh, where the PA program could come out of. That would have been a combination of several schools okay. together to make it a school of LI Health. Mm. Uh, but uh, what happened is that the people from the medical school, and they say the doctors from the medical school, which was from Freeman's Hospital mm. at that time, and some people got together and they wanted to formulate a PA program. Mm. Matter of fact, uh, it was a physician by the name of, um, uh, what's his name? I can't think of the name now, uh, Maturi. Mm -hmm. uh, William Maturi, who was a general surgeon. Mm -hmm. uh, he was an emergency medicine uh, physician. And uh, I kind of like uh, when I came out and I, I wanted, I found out about the PA pro, PA, PAs, and says like this from when I was working at Kafer's Memorial Hospital. That's now, used to be called Greater Southeast. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and I just read in a magazine about the Duke program that started yeah. the PA concept. Yeah. 
But to see at the same time what has happened is that Howard's program was a combined kind of kind of program okay. in a sense. And uh, so we just got together and uh, there was some uh, a program at DC General Hospital. Mm -hmm. Some docs over there wanted to start a PA program from there, but they didn't have enough students to start a program. And so what happened, how, then they found out how it was mm -hmm. going to start a program. So they got together, and it went together with uh, Howard Medical School and things in that sense, they developed the program. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, uh, I think this guy's name was uh, Dr. Johnson. I'm not really sure mm -hmm. right now his name. But uh, he was the beginning, the top person who will be leading the allied health kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it kind of put that together. Mm -hmm. But most of the things that came from was from the medical school. Mm -hmm. When I show my certificate, it says Howard Medical School. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't say Allied Health or Howard. Okay. And so they got together. We got the students that wanted to go start the program at uh, DC General, and the students uh, and the people who wanted to take the program in, from uh, Freedman's, I guess, yeah. Freedman's Howard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, the Howard University yeah. was Freedman's Hospital. Yeah. Um, Long time ago. Yeah, long, 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 long. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so we got yeah. together for the amount of people there and we combined the program mm -hmm. and combined them and we came out with the development of the first PA program at Howard University, mm -hmm. uh, from that, which spearheaded out of the medical school mm -hmm. itself. Mm -hmm. um, and then we went through a rigorous, <laughs> it was rigorous, okay. Mm -hmm. um, the, the thing is that we went all the way through. We, it was supposed to be a three year program. Mm -hmm. Uh, we did it two and a half years because okay. we went all the way through uh, from summertime to whatever, okay? And um, from there, it was a very expensive reason why I had no problem because I was emergency uh, PA anyhow, and I worked in the emergency room at the same time as Freeman. So uh, it was kind of like going to school, working, going to school. However, uh, from that experience I had from the Navy, from the service, it kind of just propelled me. I could just go on through because a lot of stuff I learned in the Navy, uh, in the Medical Corps in the Navy, uh, is just translated right into that, you know? So it wasn't a difficult thing. Uh, that's why it's very important for those who want to become PAs is to get some kind of uh, medical backing. You know, there was foundation. Uh, if you're working in the medicine room, you're a nurse or you're a technician or something in there where you can understand about the the uh, relationship between what you're doing and why you're doing it, you know, and you can sell through it. it it's difficult for people who've never had any kind of uh, yeah. experience with that because of the terminologies and things like yeah. that. However, you still can make it, mm -hmm. regardless. You can still make it if that's what you want to do. Mm -hmm. um, so, but it's something that uh, it's an experience, let's put it like yeah. that. Yeah. Medical school, uh, being a PA, you are, I don't care if it says LI school or whatever, you are at medical school, mm. okay? So you just don't go the full four years in the medical school. Mm. And that's that's what it is, because the curriculum is the same, all right? Anatomy is anatomy, mm. all right? You go down and you deal with cadavers, you can do with everything, okay? Mm. So you, you really learn, you, you, and your interest is uh, really heightened, and you, you get good teaching there. Mm. Now, as far as, uh, different fields, you have different fields also in, 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 as a PA. Mm -hmm. Wherever there's a specialty in the regular medical modality, mm -hmm. PAs are there, all right? Mm -hmm. My specialty is surgery, uh, primary care, um, ENT, mm -hmm. head and neck surgery and plastics. Mm -hmm. That's when I specialized in the last 40 years, <laughs> 30 years or oh, so, <laughs> okay, um, and so, these are kind of things that you can specialize in, and you can specialize in any modality that the, the physicians okay. are. And we have about a minute. Okay. Um, what advice would you give, because I want to do a part two, mm -hmm. um, to talk about the changes that you've seen over the decades that you've been a PA. I mean, you're, you're easily one of the most experienced PAs out there. So I want to do a part two to this video, and you just talk about the changes in demographics, um, procedures, uh, autonomy, or lack thereof that, that uh, PAs mm -hmm. may have. Anybody wanting to go into the PA field, what advice would you give them? 
right now, be certain that you want to do it. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's the biggest thing because uh, it is a, it is a uh, uh, trying profession. Uh, the profession is still growing after the, all these years. Uh, people uh, still don't know who you are. Yeah. And some people still don't know what you do. Hmm. Uh, you still have to fight that all all along, and you just have to prove to them what they have to do. Hmm. A lot of times now, I see that um, uh, in medical schools, the uh, residents uh, coming out, uh, they are also associating themselves with PAs, so hmm. they know what PAs can actually do. Hmm. And uh, a lot of times, you see the the hookup between residents and the PAs before they graduate. Yeah. And that's what happened to me also in general surgery. Mm -hmm. I, I was in the emergency room, and this general surgery resident mm -hmm. uh, was there, and he saw what I could do. Mm -hmm. And when he graduated, uh, he called me. He was from Georgia, and he oh, called okay. me, and I went down to Georgia. Uh, <laughs> you know. And uh, the thing is that um, uh, you, you, the best thing for you to do is, is uh, find out what you want to do, actually. Mm -hmm. get, your, get your grades together. Mm -hmm. get, be serious. That's yeah. the thing about it. There's not too many... Um, uh, African Americans, mm -hmm. let's put it like that, yeah. in the field. Mm -hmm. Let's be very real. All right. I see from and you asked me if some of the changes. I see more. Uh, it's no bad thing, but yeah. I see more females yeah. in the profession mm -hmm. than males. There are not that many males in there. Yeah. And, uh, and the thing is that it's a lucrative profession. I'm gonna tell you, it's very good. Mm -hmm. It pays you. Yeah. All right. You put the effort in. You get your skills. You mm -hmm. get paid for it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so the thing is that you need to just concentrate on that, what you want to do. It also gives you flexibility. Yeah. You're not locked in mm. into one thing. One, once you get in school, like you get your BS in this and BS in that, or you get your in biology and then you go into medical and then you stay in that track for eight years or yeah. so. As a PA, uh, you get that experience. You can also very often into some other things and still get that, that thing that you want to do with yeah. helping people and yeah. helping patients. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Um, you know, uh, please subscribe to my channel because I cover another ver a number of other topics as well. I'll be interviewing other people in other aspects of the healthcare field, but I myself as a uh, physician assistant and a healthcare educator, um, I've, I've found being a PA incredibly rewarding. I, I'm sure you're one of my uh, mm -hmm. early in inspirations since I was a, a kid. Um, but, but go to AAPA the uh, American Academy of Physician Assistants.org. That is the official website of our official um, representing body. Uh, it's a growing field, but uh, as uh, Brother Bashir said, you, there's still a lot of lack of knowledge. Yeah, um, it's, it's wide yeah. open. Yeah. The thing yeah. is that you have to, yeah. don't look at it as a secondary kind of thing, yeah. okay? Yeah. And the thing is that we, we have to uh, be able to uh, learn the things and put ourselves in certain positions so that we can help people more. Yeah, yeah. And this is where the thing is. Now the whole thing, I'm also an educator as well. Mm -hmm. I'm a health educator in the sense that I, when we see patients, you educate them about their problems mm -hmm. more so, and you spend good time with them. They begin to like you and be able to do their things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great field. Um, but uh, please leave your questions and comments uh, in the comment section, and I'll leave my contact information front of you all that may be uh, interested in joining this great profession. Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you. Yeah, thank so, you okay. very much. I hope to see you. <laughs>